This is our chrysanthemum trial bed and they're just coming into flower. A few have been flowering for a while, like Smoky Purple, which is this one, which is a real favourite of mine. I, I love it in bud like that, really rich and sort of velvety and delicious with that green eye. But then it goes on and forms this sort of more relaxed, kind of shaggy top. And um, I've had this in the garden now for three or four years and I've been trialling it to see how hardy it was. And we left it out, we mulched it just like we did the dahlias, um, it, under a good sort of three or four inches of mulch. And it survived the winter and started flowering in June this year, this variety. So that really is an exceptionally good hardy chrysanthemum that I just passionately recommend. But I'm wanting to build up a really good palette of chrysanthemums. So that's why we've got a big trial going on. And I just want to introduce you to some tried and tested ones and some new varieties. So again, staying with the sort of purply ones. This is really lovely too, with a silvery back to the petal, which I really like, that sort of contrast. And that again has been in flower since early September, so that's a good one. That's called Gompi Super. This is just coming into flower now, um, which is called Bepi Super. And I really love that flower form. I love the pointy petal, which is quite unusual, very starry for a chrysanthemum. I think that's very, very elegant. So I'm definitely going to grow that one again next year. And then the, the final one in this sort of purpley range is this one, which is called Regal Miss Purple. And how elegant is that? Do you see, it's called an in-curved variety, so that the outer petals are slightly outwardly curved, but the inward petals go point inwards and you get this beautiful two-tone uh, silvery back of the petal and this rich front of the petal and how elegant is that just as a single stem I really love them um, so those are the the four in that color range and each and every one of those I think are worth growing this one which is called orange Eloise is a really handsome sort of golden color and I think it's lovely with this one, which I've grown here for quite some years, called Hannenberg Red, which is another of my real favourites, because it's got this beautiful, almost like the colour of conkers, a bit redder, but really rich side, the front of the petal, and, and then really contrasting to this beautiful golden back to the petal. And the flower form of that is, is just wonderful. So that is a really elegant thing, I think. And then... If we go into the sort of reds, into crimsons, um, this has been in flower for ages, um, this variety, which is a beppy red. And um, again, beautiful. This is it as it's just emerging from bud. And this is a flower that I've been watching and it's been out already for three weeks, that flower. So I know now it's looking a little tired, but it really has lasted incredibly well. And this is Gompi Red, very similar. Um, and this actually has been in flat even longer. So this is one of the very, very early ones. So really since August that's been flowering. This is more September. But the absolute queen of the crop, in my view, which is a brand new variety. The most sumptuous, dark, rich, sort of Bourneville chocolate called Jalta Red. Isn't that a cracker? I definitely want to grow lots and lots and lots of that next year. So that's what's good about the trial, is that you, you know, I, I really like all of these actually, but you get a firm favourite and then you know that you want to grow lots of that one and I would arrange that with hydrangeas and that would be fantastic all the way through autumn.